Hey, that's not nice. You're next. Ooh, oh. All right, gotta go. You are so mean. She could have been my very first friend ever. You don't need friends, you have me. Yeah, you're like a great friend. That's it, you're grounded. Grounded? But I'm not allowed to leave anyway. Well, now I'm boarding up the door so no one can ever come here again. Hi kids, I'm Miss Booksy and this is story time. Today we're reading Rapunzel. Chapter one, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Once upon a time, there was a man and woman who were very much in love. Let's just call them Tom and Sally. Sally was gonna have a little baby. They were so happy, but also nervous because they didn't have very much money. How are we going to afford all that baby stuff? Diapers and bottles and pacifiers and baby books and baby toys and baby blankets and baby bouncers. Calm down, you worry too much. Everything's gonna be fine. No, not fine. Look, we don't have enough room for a baby. And don't even get me started on Dame Gothel. Did I forget to mention that they lived in a teeny, tiny hovel rented from Dame Gothel? Yes, that Dame Gothel. The witch. The witch? Oh no. No one knew for sure if she was a witch, but she wore very witchy looking clothes and had a very witchy laugh. So yeah, Tom was right. Her backyard wasn't exactly the best place to raise a baby. One night, Sally awoke with the most peculiar craving. I'm hungry. I could go for some Rapunzel flour. What? You know, those little weeds that taste like spinach? I want some. Where am I supposed to get Rapunzel at three in the morning? Dame Gothel has a growing in her garden. She'll put a curse on me if I steal her Rapunzel. A curse? Oh no. Oh shush, she'll understand. And so that's how Tom found himself creeping around in the witch's garden at three in the morning filling up a basket with Rapunzel flowers. He had just pulled up the last weed when... Him, just what do you think you're doing? Uh, borrowing? No, you're stealing! I didn't mean to, I promise. My wife was just hungry. She's having a baby. A baby? Yes. Do you like babies? I love babies. I'll make a deal with you. I won't send you to prison if you let me take care of your baby. Like babysit? Uh, okay. Sure, like babysitting. <laughs> hmm, that sounds suspicious. <laughs> Dame Gothel cackled her witchy laugh, but Tom didn't get what was so darn funny. Uh, okay, thanks. No, thank you. Okay, see you around. When their baby girl was born two days later, Tom had completely forgotten about his deal with Dame Gothel, but she did not. I'm here to take my baby. What? Me and him made a deal. I think I'll call her Rapunzel. And with a poof of smoke, the witch disappeared, taking the baby with her. Uh, Our baby! Oh no! Stop her! Tom and Sally were beyond freaked out. They called the police and formed a search party, but no one could find Dame Gothel and baby Rapunzel. It was like they had disappeared into thin air. But of course they hadn't just disappeared. You know this part of the story. They were in a tower deep in the woods. Here's what you might not know about this fairy tale. Dame Gothel wasn't entirely witchy. She actually tried very hard to be a nice mommy to the new baby. She gave her the best baby toys. She sang her the sweetest lullabies. rock a bye baby on the treetop. Well, she tried. Dame Gothel even tried to make silly faces to get Rapunzel to laugh. But baby Rapunzel must have known that this wasn't her real mommy, so she pretty much never stopped crying. That's so sad. The only thing that could calm her down was when Dame Gothel brushed baby Rapunzel's hair. Oh, thank goodness, finally. Dame Gothel spent so much time doing Rapunzel's hair that she got really good at it and eventually tried out pretty much every hairstyle there is. And Dame Gothel didn't dare cut Rapunzel's beautiful hair. So over the years, it just kept growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. By the time Rapunzel was a young lady, it was like world record length. Hey, Dame Gothel, you think I could enter a hair competition or something? I bet I could win a big prize. You know very well that you can't leave the tower. Right, there was that about Dame Gothel. She wouldn't let Rapunzel leave the tower, not even on a super nice sunny day. 
maybe one day. I heard that. You're not going anywhere. Yeah, but one day I'll get out. She'll see. Heard that too. Ooh, interesting. Let's read another story. Come on. Chapter two, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Let's talk about what it's like growing up in a tower away from all civilization. It can get pretty lonely and very, very boring. Here are the things Rapunzel did to keep herself entertained all those years. I learned to knit. I read every single book in the tower library at least three times. I learned to cook international cuisine. Come on and get it, spaghetti taco sushi. I taught myself different languages. Hola. Aloha. Konnichiwa. Buongiorno. Alo. I learned to dance. Ballet, tap, salsa, and hip hop. Wow, this is so fun. I gave myself piano lessons. I counted all my hairs. 1,341, 1,342, 1,343, 1,343. I wrote jokes. What's in one wall? Say to the other wall. I'll meet you at the corner. <laughs> I studied the effects of boredom on mice. Day 453, Sir Squeakly ignores his cheese. I made jewelry. I learned to meditate. Oh. Then one day there was a knock at the door. Huh? What? Who could that be? Dame Gothel never knocks. Uh oh. She better watch out. Yo! Hello! I'm selling craft boxes. Do you want to buy one? Craft boxes? Yeah, they'll keep you entertained for hours. That sounds awesome. Come on up. Well, hi there. I'm Crafty Carolina. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, Crafting Carolina. I'm Rapunzel. Oh, that's nice. Do you live up here all by yourself? Well, my mother, Dame Gothel, lives here too sometimes. But now that I'm old enough, I stay here alone a lot. Oh, you really shouldn't give so much information to strangers, dear. Oh, well, I never met a stranger before. <laughs> well, that's odd. Anyway, may I show you my crafting wares? Check that out. It's crafting box. Cool! I'll take two. One for me and one for Dame Gothel. Wow, that is so cool. Oh, well, score. All right, I'll sign you up for two. Uh, you got money? Money? Yeah, you know, that you buy stuff with. Uh, no, I, I don't, but I'll trade you. How about this giant sweater? It's kind of warm out. Oh, well. How about this DIY jewelry? It's nice, but... Not really your style? Not really. Okay, well, why don't you just hang out till Dame Gothel gets here and she'll pay you. Okay! So Rapunzel and Carolina spent the rest of the day making crafts. arms. Ooh, this is so exciting. Finally, Dame Gothel arrived, but she was very jealous and didn't want to share Rapunzel with anyone. So she was not exactly happy to find Crafty Carolina there. Get out of this tower! But she's nice, and she's selling these super cool craft boxes. This is what I think of craft boxes. Hey, that's not nice. You're next. Ooh, Ooh. All right, gotta go. You are so mean. She could have been my very first friend ever. You don't need friends, you have me. Yeah, you're like a great friend. That's it, you're grounded. Grounded? But I'm not allowed to leave anyway. Well now I'm boarding up the door so no one can ever come here again. But how are you gonna get in? Oh, right, I know. I'll call Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. 
and you'll throw your hair out the window and I'll climb up it. Really? It's a good plan. And so Dame Gothel closed up the tower so that no one could ever visit Rapunzel ever again. Kids, what do you think is gonna happen next? Thanks for coming to Storytime. See you next time. Bye.